Hey everyone, before we get into this video today, I want to remind you to enter our Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered giveaway. It is the final day to enter. All you need to do is comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. I will announce the winner tomorrow. You can get it for PlayStation 4 and or Nintendo Switch. We also have a second giveaway jump started for the month of September, and that is for a Nintendo Switch Lite. The contest is open worldwide. We have a link at the very top of the description down below to enter, or you can head to the comment section and it will be the pinned comment. All right, that being said, if we get 50,000 subscribers before November 1st of 2020, I will be giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or an OG, or like, you know, a, a standard Nintendo Switch in the month of November. So hopefully we get to 50,000. And also, I lose a bet if that happens. So let's see how it goes. All right. Whew. Today we're doing a little bit of unique content of the channel, not news. You know, we, do, we, we talk a lot of news. We talk a lot of opinions on Nintendo. But how about talking about a game? This is better late than never. This is a new series that it doesn't really have a schedule. It just happens whenever I feel like I am ready to talk about a video game that I am currently playing. Uh, it is not a review. I want to stress, I am not reviewing the game. This isn't some definitive, I played everything, hundreds and hundreds of hours. This is an impression video to give you my thoughts on a video game that I'm presently playing. Uh, and yeah, it's for the most part my final thoughts, even though uh, I can't discuss all of the details of a given game. So today, we're talking about Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's right, better late than ever. Doesn't matter when I started playing the game or when the game came out, it matters and what am I playing right now? And I got to give a shout out to Mark. Uh, he is one of the regulars on our live streams. Uh, I got to give a shout out to him because he did buy this game for me. Thank you, Mark. I greatly appreciate that kind of support. Uh, and he's absolutely addicted to Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I can understand why. Now, Fire Emblem, if you've ever played, it's a tactical strategy game. Uh, it works on a grid layout for the battles and all that. There are different weapon types that work in a rock, paper, scissors metho methodology, swords, shields, bows, magic, all that jazz, um, you know, mounted, unmounted, etc. There's a lot of uh, things that have to do uh, with just just playing a Fire Emblem game uh, and armor sets and all that jazz. But here's the thing. I'm not here to talk about the combat that much because if you've ever played a Fire Emblem game, whether it's me who, who played the GameCube version and then I played Awakening, uh, the games, gameplay-wise, to me anyways, mostly play the same today as they did back then. I always play it in classic mode, by the way, which is where if you mess up and your unit dies in combat, um, they're gone. That's just how I play. I'm doing normal difficulty, classic mode, uh, and needless to say, I have lost most of my, my people. Um, but I'm still kicking, still moving forward. Uh, I'm recruiting new people in to replace the ones I've lost, all that jazz. Um, but, you know, that's just me uh, being rusty with Fire Emblem. I think on a second playthrough, I would not have as many deaths, especially since there actually is an ability that lets you reverse time three times during combat, so you could kind of fix a mistake three different times. Uh, I tend to not use that ability as much as I should, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do want to stress, though, that I really enjoy the combat, I really enjoy the battles, and... If you uh, you know want a taste of what Fire Emblem Combat is like without spending money, you can go download Fire Emblem Heroes on your you know mobile devices. Uh, it gives you a great taste of what Fire Emblem Combat is like and what the rock, paper, scissors is like. Don't worry about the gotcha mechanics. That's not how it works in, in the actual retail games. Now, I think what's very, very interesting about these games in general, or about this game, I guess, is everything that happens between the battles. See, you are a teacher at a school that's ran by a religious person um, named Ray. Uh, and I, I don't want to get too much into the exact names and details of characters and places because you should play the game for yourself. And I'm not very good at remembering these kind of exact little fine details. But I really enjoy the in-between where you choose a house, one of three different houses. I went with Black Eagles, uh, mostly because uh, the quote-unquote leader, the new empress or future empress of uh, a Fodland or whatever, is um, this chick that, that runs it. And I think it's the only female that ran house. The other two houses are ran by males. Uh, so I can't speak from the perspective of like the golden deer or, or blue lions or, or whatever. I can't talk about those because I didn't go down that story arc. But I think that's one thing that's really cool about this game is there's basically room for three playthroughs. And apparently, I've been told, I don't know firsthand, that um, each house has different like 
endings and stuff. So you can actually have multiple playthroughs of the same house and get a, a slightly different experience. Uh, so that I, I find to be really, really cool. But I'm, I'm the Black Eagles. We're rocking. Uh, you get to choose a character beginning, male, female. Byleth is, is the name default name. I stick with default names for the most part unless it's an MMO. Um, like, you know, I usually use Link in Zelda games. I'll use Byleth here because that's the OG name of the character. But surprisingly, I have fallen in love with um, the aspect of the game that I feel like a lot of people either love or they hate. And that is the in-between stuff that happens at the actual academy. Uh, the little infighting and in um, rivalries between the houses, uh, between the teachers as well. Uh, you can pretty much marry anyone in this game if you so choose. Uh, I have a chosen partner that I've been pursuing and it looks like it's about to conclude. Um, I mean, I might as well just not, you know what, I'm, I'm going to, for, for those that haven't been, have been watching me play this on live stream, um, I'll save that suspense to the end of the video. If you want to know who I'm uh, going to end up with, stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really interesting to see how the relationships build between characters. Now, Fire Emblem's always kind of had this in-between stuff, but there's even more of it, I feel like, in this game than in any other Fire Emblem game I've ever played. Most other Fire Emblem games, there's some cutscenes, some choices here and there, but for the most part, you're just going battle to battle to battle. That's what it felt like to me anyways. In Three Houses, you literally spend like an entire month in-game um, doing different things outside of battles. Now, you can choose to do extra battles. Now, I haven't done that many extra battles, and I probably should do some more. Maybe I wouldn't die as often uh, in my battles. But you know what? I like doing all this in-between stuff, whether it's teaching my students different topics and having other professors help out. Uh, but honestly, it's the personal interactions that happen in the exploring part of the academy that I really enjoy. Not just building relationships with my you know, future wife, uh, but also like just interacting with the different students and the different characters and learning about the world. Uh, there's just so much interesting stuff happening and I'm getting really, really deep into the lore in a way I really haven't done since maybe World of Warcraft when I used to deep dive into that. Now that there's so much going on in World of Warcraft, I have no idea what's even happening with the Shadowlands expansion, let alone uh, everything happening right here uh, in this Fire Emblem game. I, I barely remember the story from Fire Emblem Awakening. In fact, if you ask me what the story is or how it ended, I probably couldn't tell you. So I, I honestly am just super, super into the fact that this game is uh, everything I've really ever wanted it to be uh, in terms of building like relationships. I almost view it as like a relationship game. And I like that. Uh, I've tried a lot of relationship simulators o over the years. Uh, and Fire Emblem does it like the best and almost most realistic. Every character has their own unique personality. And I love that about this game. There are characters that you think are good that might not be good. Characters that are bad that might not be bad. Uh, you wonder why your dad, um, you know, left the religious order and everything. But now is back working with them. Like why? And, and there's just so much interest and intrigue in this game uh, that really draws me in. Like I... This is a game that I can't put down. Whenever I pick it up, suddenly it's four hours later by the time I look up. And that's actually a problem for me, uh, which is why I've actually set it down for the past week because it's just been very difficult um, to balance my college and work and everything and play Fire Emblem at the same time, uh, which is why I'm not waiting until I actually beat the Black Eagles route to talk about it. Because no, I haven't beat the Black Eagles route. I'm about 30 or so hours into the game uh, and I'm just I'm just having such a good time with all this in-between stuff. Maybe spending more time on it than I even need to just because I enjoy it. I, I haven't even tried out fishing yet. And like that's part of this game. There's been fishing tournaments that I haven't even participated in because I just don't care about fishing. I stopped caring about fishing in video games a long time ago. Um, so to me, fishing doesn't matter. Maybe the last time I cared was, you know, when they added a fishing pond to Majora's Mask 3D. Even then, I was just curious more so than caring. Uh, so yeah, that's just that's just me. I'm in it for the relationship building and the different things, the choir practices, the meal preps, uh, the tea times. Which, by the way, I'll admit. The tea time, when you invite people to, because in this game you can invite people to have tea with you, it is maybe the most pointless part of the game and the easiest part to build a relationship. You can easily go four for four with pretty much any character um, and, and get a perfect tea time, but nothing interesting happens. Maybe the coolest part about it is that you can go into like this photo mode sort of and like move the camera around and take screenshots if you want, which I guess um, 
depending on certain angles you might be going for. That's the best way to go about taking pictures of your favorite characters. Uh, I'm not going to go any further than that. Might might enter some uh, rated R territory. But the point is, I really enjoy this game greatly and the personality it brings. Um, I don't know. I know there's going to be complaints out there. I saw complaints while I was live streaming about the visuals not being the most visually impressive game. And it's not. But Fire Emblem has never been about being visually more impressive. I think Fire Emblem Warriors, from a pure visual perspective, looks better and isn't made by you know a Nintendo company. So um, I honestly think that this game looks fine for what it is. It looks even better in handheld. Uh, and a lot of the footage you're seeing here, there's some footage that I took. It's very, very early game. I ended up not recording uh, a lot of my gameplay because I was too busy playing it in handheld mode most of the time. Uh, so sorry about that, that I can't show you everything. But one thing I can tell you now that we're reaching towards the end of the video is that I, um, the woman I ended up with, or am going to end up with, is Manuela. That's right. She has a lot of the same personality quirks as my actual real-world fiancé, except she's really, really lazy with keeping things clean. Yuli is like the opposite. She loves things being clean. But besides that, there's a lot of personality quirks, including some of the, uh, the sexiness, let's put it that way, uh, that, that seems to line up. Anyways, uh, you guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. What are your thoughts about Fire Emblem Three Houses if you played it? What house did you choose? Why did you choose it? How much did you enjoy the game? If you want to drop spoilers, I'm not going to get mad if you drop spoilers because this game has been out for a while. Um, I really don't care. I'm having a good time. I'll eventually get through my my at least one run through it uh, at some point later this year. Not going to make a follow-up video either. This is it. This is my impressions of the game. Love it. I love the in-between stuff more than the battles. The battles are what I expected. Uh, and that's all I got for you guys. So, um, yeah, I love. Uh, it's a relationship simulator to me. And uh, I love it even more for it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. And I'll catch each and every one of you in the next episode.